So today I'm over at the beach club and instead of going into the actual lobby, we're actually gonna be heading to the beach club villas. So to get there, this is obviously the lobby and we're heading over to the left hand side because if you see over here, this is more of like a seafoam green type area and that's where the beach club villas are. And there's a really great study spot hidden kind of within that. We're just gonna end up taking a left and it's gonna be back here in the back. It's super simple to find. If you ever get lost, just look for Ariel because she's literally posted up right here in the front. Look at her, she's so cute. Um, she probably does need some repainting here pretty soon, but we love her. So once you walk into the villas area, we're actually going to take this left here into the breezeway. And you guys have heard me talk about this way too many times on various episodes, but isn't it gorgeous? So once you enter the DVC villas area, the breezeway is going to be over on your left hand side. And just look how beautiful it is. It's very open, very airy. The music here is absolutely gorgeous. There is a little bit of foot traffic because the quiet pool is actually right behind us. So oftentimes you'll get people coming to and from that area. But other than that, there's not as many outlets here as there are at Coronado Springs, but it's still absolutely gorgeous and honestly really relaxing. And fun fact, when I first applied to be a concierge here at Walt Disney World, I was actually sitting in that chair. So that's fun. Cutesy little memories. concierge I was literally sitting in the seat and I immediately got a web-based interview and I was sitting here with a friend and I'm like do I just do it do I just go for it did the web-based interview here I ended up getting placed at Yacht and Beach so obviously it was meant to be now I'm over at Pop Century most of the time but I still pick up here all the time for instance I start in like two hours over at the Yacht Club because it's so gorgeous here it's just it's a, it's a nice laid-back day for concierge then when you go over to the right hand side you end up at the drawing room which is always really quiet pick up pool supplies from the front desk which is really nice but again lots of seating here it's definitely not as open and as airy as the breezeway but still great music cute little atmosphere we got a few more outlets here than over at the breezeway but if you're looking for more of a quiet space to make all your own drawing room is definitely the place to go now, if you're looking for a space with maybe a little more people a little more passing through white noise things like that we're actually gonna head back where we came from to go to this little area so this entire hallway is lined with chairs and it definitely has a lot more foot traffic than where we just were. So again, we're gonna come out the villa doors and sneak on over. So the next area is gonna be called the Solarium and like I said, a little more hustle bustle. just because we're in a hallway there is a little more hustle and bustle we also got some mickey cartoons playing in the background which is really cute most of these table seating areas do have an outlet right here some of them don't though but cutesy little chair mm -hmm. cutesy little views you can never go wrong also yeah. another little spot that i like they have like these little window benches that you can kind of just come up here and chill out on which is really cutesy and nice and these are going to be right by the marketplace and again still look out over those amazing villas so many cute little hidden gems here. I love it. I'm outside because I want to record a Q&A for my concierge video outdoors so I don't have to wear my mask because sometimes I feel like I start eating my mask when I talk too much. But it's not really a ton of places with like chairs and tables out here so we're gonna go find somewhere that's like semi secluded and not blasting music and or children screaming. Now my second problem is is we need somewhere with decent lighting and the wind is actually kind of bad today so that's also an issue. 
we're gonna figure that out. Uh, what's step at a time, ladies and gentlemen? I honestly might be posting up like on one of these filler things and just let all the people pass behind me, it's fine. So, that's the International Gateway. There's like this weird walkway under the bridge. It honestly might post up in the shady grass right here. It kind of feels like the move. It's like quiet, secluded. The grass will be nice and comfy. The only thing is, is I don't really have anything to prop up my camera, but like, fine, we're doing it. The lighting is still slightly garbage but it's a little less garbage. What if I like, I literally have this propped up on my backpack right now. What if I do it like right here? Except maybe not so sideways. No, it's still pretty garbage. Ah, this sucks. This is actually a cute little spot. Why am I here for this? I'm putting this in the study spots. There we go. There she is.